Hey, I'm Chris from Cinti Studios and today I'll be showing you how to make custom collision for our models in Blender. So if we take a look at the original model, you can see this part of the dumpster here is blocked by the collision. And from what we'll be doing with our custom collision, our character will be able to jump into the dumpster. This tutorial will cover all the basics that you need to know for custom collision, so you can apply this to any model that you want custom collision for. And just comparing the two, the original model, our character is not able to enter in, and with our custom collision, the character can get into the dumpster. So to get started, we'll import our FBX model into Blender. We won't be doing any collision on the lid, so we'll get rid of this. Shift A will create a cube, and S to scale this down. And we'll get this lined up with the floor, and hitting S and then X to constrain on the X axis will scale it out just to cover the floor. And then again, S to scale and Y to constrain on the Y axis. So once we're happy with our floor, we want to do the sides and the front and the back. And we want everything to be in the single model. So we'll hit tab to go into edit mode, shift A, and we'll make a new cube. We'll scale this down. And we'll bring this level with the side wall, roughly up into the middle. And like we did with the floor, we'll just scale this until we're happy with the size. And we'll keep this selected and shift D to duplicate. X to constrain on the x-axis, and we'll drag it over to the other side, get this to where we want it, then we'll do the same for the front and the back. Once we're happy with that, shift D to duplicate, Y to constrain on the y-axis. So we get the nice basic shape that we need for our collision, for our new model that we've created. We'll just add underscore collision to the end, and we can just do a bit of fine-tuning to the model if we're not quite happy with it. One important thing to know is that we want our position, our scale, and our rotation to match our original model. So this may differ depending on what model you're creating custom collision for. So back to object mode and we'll apply the scale. Then comparing the original model, we can see we have a different location, so we'll also need to apply this. And then we'll match the rotation of our models to ensure the collision and the model match in unity. So to do that, we'll change it back to minus 90 and apply the rotation. Then we'll set it back to 90, but we won't apply this. Now we'll line up the pivot points for both of our meshes, so for our collision mesh I've just moved it over to the side just so we can test this out, and for our dumpster you can see it's on the bottom in the middle. With the dumpster selected, shift, S, and then we can move the cursor to active, and then back onto our collision mesh, we can go to object, set origin, origin to 3D cursor. And now both of these two have the same origin. Then with our model selected, file, export, FBX, and I've made a custom collision folder in my Unity project, so that's where I'll be exporting to. We'll also limit this to selected objects, and it will just export the one model that we have selected. For the scale, we'll keep this set to FBX unit scale. Keep in mind, these settings may differ depending on your model. And we'll export that out and head back into Unity. In the model's custom collision folder, we'll see our new collision model. And we'll select one of our dumpsters and add a mesh collider. For the mesh, we'll add our new collision mesh. And then we'll do the same for the other dumpster. Now testing it out, you can see we have collision on the outside of our dumpster, and we're able to jump into the dumpster. Our packs generally include a variety of collisions suitable for most games, but not all games are the same, and you may have a need for something more custom, so this tutorial will hopefully help you get started. I hope you found the tutorial useful. If there is anything specific that you want to see more of, then let us know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with all of our newest videos, or check out our community discord. The link is in the description.